What's going on guys, Billy here, and with the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel, there is a ton of different use case scenarios for this little camera mounted onto the Mavic 2 platform. This is likely the least expensive thermal drone system on the market at around $2,700, and if you wanted anything more or anything better, you'd be spending upwards of ten dollars or $20,000 on DJI's old platform, which is the Inspire 1 with the XT camera, or their newer platform, which is the M210, the Matrice M200 series with the XT2 camera. With that said, you're going to get a lot more potential out of those cameras, but the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual does a lot of things right with that thermal camera underneath. It offers a great package. So everything can be found in this case right here. It fits inside of this small case and you can get it in the air in under a minute. This makes it perfect for search and rescue operations, firefighting operations, and on-the-go inspections. So search and rescue is by far the biggest industry that this drone is targeting and I guess you can't really say that search and rescue is an industry, but I know a ton of law enforcement agencies will be interested in a drone of this size, of this price, and a drone that's as easy to use as the Mavic 2 platform. Now if somebody wanders off into the woods or into a large field, it's going to take a ton of manpower on the ground, a ton of people to search for this person, or you could be using a more expensive system, say like the Matrice series with the X-T2 camera underneath that X-T2 thermal camera, or you could even deploy a helicopter. Something like the Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel is such a good middleman because again, it's very easy to use. It's pretty inexpensive. You could say scan a large field with three or four of them and only be spending around $7,500. It's also very easy to use. You take it out of the case, you start it up, and you're in the air. Drone technology as a whole is really changing the way that we go about our search and rescue operations. It eliminates needing to find hundreds of volunteers to help, being able to put the power of a drone in one person's hand to scan massive areas in one sweep makes search and rescue efforts way more efficient. This bird's eye view from a drone gives you access to areas otherwise unseeable from the naked eye. Areas that are hard to reach by foot can be easily seen right from your mobile device and it can give you a closer look at those stranded isolated situations like say people on a boat. You Using this color image here is great if you know exactly where the target is, but what if you don't know where he or she is? Looking over a patch of woods like this to try and find a single person would be like finding a needle in a haystack, and also it gets even tougher when there's low light conditions, say when it's totally dark out. This is where the thermal camera that makes the Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel so special comes in handy. The body temperature is usually distinct compared to the heat of the surrounding objects, and setting your isotherm settings properly will let you easily pick out a person even from heights of about 120 or 150 feet above the trees. Even when looking through a heavily wooded area, you can pick me out in the middle of these trees standing alongside my dad. Aside from the thermal camera that is so important for these search and rescue operations, the attachments and accessories that go on top are probably equally as helpful. The light beacon will ensure safe nighttime flight, the spotlight will let you flood a lot of light into certain areas, and the speaker lets you communicate with injured targets who can't move. These are like the only drones that have these accessories and they prove to be really helpful. So the next use case scenario for the Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel is firefighting, and I myself am not a firefighter, so I'm bringing a familiar face back to the channel, Brian Cook. Uh, you you were in my Mavic 2 Enterprise first responders video and we looked at the zoom then so why don't you tell them a little bit about what you do just a refresher all right so I used to be a full-time firefighter I did a wildland and a residential firefighting so I've got a little bit of mix and I was on our search and rescue team for high-end and low-end tactical rescue awesome now you've you've used thermal cameras in the past right have you gotten the chance to use like a thermal based drone or only like I guess ground solutions no I haven't used a thermal based drone uh, yet but I have used plenty of uh, thermal cameras by flare and other companies like Scott's and some other firefighter companies that have adapted into that area um, my best story like I told you is the one time we caught a criminal that was hiding up in the hills and uh, yeah. we've used it for hot spots on different houses uh, situations um, trust buildings that have different layouts and have different hotspots as well. Now, uh, there's some special features within the Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel that sort of help it, right? They've got that temperature alert. So if you put this drone up high above a fire, which uh, we saw that drones were used in the recent Notre Dame fire over in France, which that was just a devastating incident. But there's some features within the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel where, say, you can take a temperature reading across an area and you can see where the high and the low points are. That would be pretty helpful, right? Yeah, absolutely. Anytime you're in an emergency situation or you're trying to put the fire out, you're looking for speed and efficiency is a big thing as well. So the CI in charge is going to try to find out where he needs to lay his hoses. And I believe that's how they used it for the Notre Dame fire is they found okay. uh, the best layouts. That's a huge building, obviously. It was multiple blocks. Yeah. And uh, laying out hoses is very um, intricate. 
So sometimes you need to put the hoses in the right spots at the right time, and I believe that's how they used it. They found the hot spots and then they laid out their hoses accordingly. So basically when you put the drone up in the air, uh, you want to try to tackle those hottest areas first? Yeah, absolutely. Anytime for uh, speed, basically, is what you're looking for is fastest way to get in, fastest way to get out. Safety, obviously, is the number one concern. But you definitely want to get that hot spot first, and then you can kind of go from there and try to figure out exactly like what's going on. Almost work your way out. Um, yeah. Now, the one thing I've spoken about on my channel is the lower resolution of the Mavic 2 Enterprise dual camera. Obviously, it's a very small camera. They fit two sensors in there. They've got one RGB, one thermal sensor. So do you think that that low resolution would play any sort of factor? I mean, do you think it would be helpful as, say, something like an X-T2? Yeah, I mean, I don't know too much, but I would, I would be concerned of is um, like on inspections and stuff like that, where you're trying to look for very finite details and exact temperature differences. Um, search and rescue, you're kind of really trying to isolate where the person is, where the person isn't. Mm -hmm. And then also like in the building, you're really just trying to isolate those hot spots and trying to find out where the fire is running and maybe possible fuel sources. So areas that are cool or anything like that, you're going to try to find and it's really going to enhance your abilities to do that with that thermal camera. And I don't think the resolution is going to affect that greatly. Um, mm -hmm. If there is a fire like in Phoenix and, you know, it's 120 out and the fire is running hot as well, of course, those differences are going to isolate a little bit better. But I don't think the resolution is that big when it comes to firefighting or search and rescue. Well, the good thing is we have the MSX technology, right? So it will outline uh, the certain objects on the ground, and that gives you a little bit of a competitive edge, I guess. Um, and another thing you've got to think about is if you use a Matrice, the setup time, right? You can get the Mavic 2 Enterprise oh, yeah. duel in the air in under a minute. Um, now, overall, do you think that you can see firefighters using this tool? Yeah, absolutely. What I'm trying to think is um, you've seen the, the kind of fun and kind of uh, little twerky things that some cameras can do where you just, you know, the drones get thrown up in the air. I think mm -hmm. that's really where they have to get for emergency responses. Either as the firefighting truck is driving to the scene, it pops up and goes out, kind of deploys like the UPS trucks, or they can literally just throw it out the window and it will kind of fly and be set. Um, I think that's what they really have to enhance with that. And I know that feature with the, the differences of the resolution and stuff, is better because you can get a concrete okay this is what it looks like in real life this is what the thermal camera looks like and then they cross reference those through the msx like you said but um i really think that's where the adaption has to go in order to be used really full-time in a firefighting situation yeah. instead of the matrice this is something that's totally uh, i guess uh, a, a side thought but imagine being able to on the drive over there in the truck being able to see the fire before you get there i, I can only imagine that that would oh, absolutely kind of get set up tremendously Absolutely. Nine times out of ten, we get there and we say, you know, all right, send us one truck or send us the world. Uh, those are the two different situations that you're really getting into on multiple alarm fires. And then you're just going to steadily try to ask for people. But if you can get there and see a big we've had a re recent warehouse fire here in New Jersey where if they would have got ahead and tried to get there, they probably could have sent out more instead of calling one alarm, two alarm, three alarm, four alarm, all the way up to five alarm. It was a fifth alarm fire. So That's same thing awesome. with the Notre Dame situation. I think if I'm not exactly sure how the situation would have worked out differently, but of course, if you get there faster, you're going to have a better response time and you're going to be able to divert uh, all your tools a little bit better. Yeah, I totally agree. I think that the Mavic 2 Enterprise duel would be perfect to just keep on the truck. Yeah, definitely. hundred percent. Yeah. And if it can somehow, you know, automatically get up there and find the hot spot, I'm sure that technology exists. So it can fly over there and just start doing circles until you get there and then maybe somebody can take over and if nobody's there to man it then maybe it will just keep doing circles and you know reports to the instant commander what's going on yeah the future just is awesome with drone technology yeah definitely Huge shout out to Brian for helping me with that portion of the video. Again, he's got a ton of experience using ground-based thermal cameras, and he sort of mixes that with his use of drones. He uses like the Mavic Air and the Mavic Pro, so it's really great to hear from him because I've got no experience fighting fires, and this drone, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel, definitely helps with that. Now, the final thing I want to go over that you can use this drone for, I guess like the final use case scenario, is roof inspections, and DJI doesn't really condone this. They don't recommend doing it on their website. Again, it's all about like search and rescue and firefighting but for me I've been using it mostly for inspections and I've got to say it does a pretty good job the biggest thing that this drone has going against it and kind of the reason that people aren't using it for roof inspections is because the camera is not a high enough resolution now the specs of this camera compared to that of the Zen Muse X-T2 is definitely a pretty large difference but then again so is the price tag on them this right here is a straight thermal photo of a whole roof and yes it is pretty damn blurry but luckily 
This drone utilizes MSX by FLIR, so it takes the color image and overlays it on top of the thermal image. This shows the outline of objects and makes the image a lot easier to interpret. Now with my personal workflow for roof inspections, I would analyze the hotter spots of the roof and then take closer photos of the areas of interest. This produces a higher resolution image of only the spots of interest that I'm kind of concerned with. This even works when inspecting the sides of buildings for underlying moisture or heat loss from insulation problems. As someone who was contracted or subcontracted to shoot these photos, I could see roofing companies investing in one or two of these drones to keep in their trucks because the size is perfect and the ease of use is greater than say a Matrice. When the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Zoom came out with the zoom camera underneath, so many people were saying they need to release a system like this with a thermal camera and I think that DJI did us one better by releasing one with a mounted thermal camera the size of the Mavic 2 and they also gave us an RGB camera so we've got a dual camera system and I think that it works great for all the scenarios I went over whether it be search and rescue operations firefighting operations or roof inspections yes the resolution of the camera is pretty low but for the other scenarios like search and rescue and firefighting it does great because it's got a flight time of 31 minutes and OcuSync 2.0 pretty much ensures you're not going to deal with any sort of breakup through the image through the video feed and also you can fly it pretty dang far like up to five miles. Now let me know what you guys think of the Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel down in the comment section below. I've got two more videos being posted on this drone, focusing a little bit more on roof inspections and also search and rescue operations. So make sure you subscribe to be on the lookout for that. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.